Greetings everyone. So if you're looking forward to the Windows 11 update that's coming out soon, I got the dates and some information that I want to share with you. So stay tuned right after this. Okay, so first off, Windows 11 is the new operating system that's going to replace Windows 10, obviously. The release date is set for October 5th. Now it's going to be a rollout update. That means some people will get the notification that they can update their system before others. A newer system that you purchase from the store will already be updated with the new Windows 11. Now this will be a free update, so that means you don't have to purchase Windows 11. You will get the notification if your system is qualified and that's a big if something i'll get into in a minute now of course it's going to become packed with features that i will make videos on so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see some of the features i will cover on this channel one of the features i want to highlight right now is the fact that you can run android apps on windows 11. so if you're android users you're going to feel right at home on windows 11. Now this feature won't be released until 2022, but at least we know it will be coming to Windows 11 in the future. Now there will be some redesign on the taskbar. Instead of the Windows stuff always shift to the left, now everything is going to be in the middle. So your Windows button that you usually press to bring up the menu is going to be right in the middle. And it will progressively grow as you add more icons to the menu. So as you add more icons to the taskbar, the icons are going to keep pushing out to the edges, left and right. Now you can do a system check on your system to see if it meets the requirements to run Windows 11. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go to find that system check to check your system. Okay, so here are the minimum requirements that your system need to be to run Windows 11. First, your system need to have a 64-bit 1 gigahertz processor with at least two or more cores. It needs to have a minimum of four gigabytes of RAM. It needs to have at least 64 gigabytes of storage and at least a TPM 1.2 chip. Now that's a security chip that's built into most modern PC to help encrypt your data for better security. So Windows 11 is requiring you to have that chip in order to run this operating system. And that's to make your system more secure, especially in these days of ransomware and hackers on a rampage. Now I'm pretty sure there will be workarounds to get past these minimum requirements, but take it on your own merits that if you do these workarounds, you're going to be at your own risk. Microsoft will not support updates for these system that doesn't meet the requirements and use the workaround method. So that means no security patches for you. And you don't really want to run a system without security patches. Like I said, the hackers, and ransomware and all that stuff is on a rampage. Now, if your system doesn't meet the requirements and you want to stick with Windows 10, you have until October 11, 2025 to purchase a new system. After that, Microsoft is not going to support Windows 10 anymore. So that means no more security updates and you'll be at your own risk. So as you can see, Microsoft will support your Windows 10 system if it doesn't meet the requirements for the updates. Okay, so I just wanted to give you this update about Windows 11 because I was asked when Windows 11 is coming out and I said towards the end of the year and that time has actually arrived. Well, now you know, October 5th, 2021. But do understand that your system need to meet those requirements in order for you to do that update. At least legally where Microsoft will still support your system. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel because when Windows 11 comes out, I'm going to be doing a series of videos to show you the features that I've discovered in Windows 11, just like I've been doing in Windows 10. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be updated on any future tech videos that I've made. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.